statistics are telling us that more people die in hospital in North Manchester than in the rest of the country. Um, and patients were, were, were instrumental in sort of letting us know that things had to change. We know from some research studies and some research we're involved with here in Manchester that involving us earlier in someone's illness has better results for them. Um, better quality of life, better pain control, better symptom control. There was a lot of services going into the same patient and patients were telling us that in actual fact they were repeating their story constantly and they would often say when you arrived and you'd say, tell me a little bit about how you got to this place. Don't you know? Hasn't someone told you? The district nurses at Victoria Mill work alongside the Macmillan nurses so they all talk to each other. Now this was a revelation that I'm not used to medical people talking to each other. We have this meeting at 12 o'clock daily. It allows us to come in and speak face to face, bounce ideas around as a team, because we're all professionals, we all got our own knowledge, and we can problem solve in one room. Uh, it allows that, and that wasn't there before. The daily handover has made us really effective. It's opened lines of communications that, even though they were there beforehand, it was that we were chasing people to try and communicate with them. So the fact that we have the district nurses at the meeting, the dietitians, the physiotherapist, the speech therapist, the CNSs, our assistant practitioners, we have the full range of people that are supporting our palliative care patients. So we've now got four hubs and there's assistant practitioners working across each of those hubs has allowed us to actually increase the amount of times we see patients and actually when they go they can do multiple things in one session. So they might be able to do speech therapy exercises but also review their pain medication, also do a dietetic review. So actually Actually, the patients get a better service, they get the specialist input, but then they also get the continuity of care through the assistant practitioners. I think the most significant point uh, in, in realising where the team was and where it was coming from was when my GP arranged, I think what they call a multidisciplinary team meeting and invited my family to join in as well. It was a very sort of intense meeting. Everybody was listening and they were all putting in their contribution at the right time and at the right pitch. And it was only afterwards that I realised that um, everybody there was caring for me. So there's lots of processes in place where you can refer, it's not limited. You can self-refer, so you can go through the Macmillan service directly. Your GP can refer, um, district nurses can refer, and um, obviously the hospital. So any referrals made into the hub, a Macmillan team will triage that. Equally, the district nurses will have patients that they are concerned about who we have to have a professional discussion about how we can support that family, support the carers, and support the patient through what's a difficult time. So that's an excellent meeting. It generates needs for training, putting plans in place for the patients, and also discussion with the GP. We've always had um, a, a weekly multidisciplinary team meeting. With the redesign of the service, what we've been able to do is look at what we're doing and do it slightly differently to better use people's time. And we've found that it just has Overnight and without really trying, it's improved communication between district nurses, GPs and the hospital so much better, so much better. If, if uh, I want anything out of ours, then Macmillan's goes through to a, a hospice and, and uh, th there's always somebody. So I don't, I don't live in fear. I think the single phone line for the patient or the relatives or any other healthcare professional within North Manchester is really good. Uh, we get a lot of um, feedback from the patients saying, you know, that it's not going to answer phone and they feel as though they are being heard. If they have any queries or worries that we are acting upon them quite quickly. And that just, again, takes a, away that added stress and just makes their cancer journey that little bit easier, really. They've installed the the lifeline system, I mean, that was discussed at the meeting and within three days it was in. So I thought, wow, <laughs> this is marvellous. These people know how to make things happen. 
And if they can do that with a bit of machinery, what can they do with me? Feedback from patients is also good because their service runs now a weekend, which is great for um, patient care. Um, it is an amazing service and it's going to grow and there are lots of new and innovative ideas that are going to come out of the hub. And I feel like half the nursing fraternity are looking after me at the moment because every which way I turn, there is somebody who specialises in, in something else. It's about providing that high quality care for the North Manchester patients really. It's been a much more collaborative way of working whereas in the past we may have been working in sort of silos and then just linking in as and when was necessary or when we reached crisis point so we're sort of preempting that really. You know, I'm not going to sit here and just curl up and die. I'm looking for ways to keep going and so far they've managed that very well. It's integrated working, uh, you know, and it's fantastic.